today I am going to tell the story Mr. Archimedes Bath written by Thamila Ellen published by Puffin Books Mr. Archimedes Bath always overflowed and Mr. Archimedes always had to clean up the mess. Can anyone tell me where all this water came from? Mr. Archimedes decided to find out. He puts just a little water in the bag as he always did. And this time he measured the depth. But the water rules. Where did all this water come from? Below Mr. Archimedes. I don't know, said Kangaroo. It's not my fault, said Go. I didn't do it, said Wombat. But when Mr. Archimedes measured it again. He found the water had gone down. Mr. Archimedes was puzzled. Somebody must be doing this. He shouted. Where well, it's gone? Maybe it's you, kangaroo. You stay out and we shall see if, happen if it happens again. The water rose. When Mr. Archimedes measured it, he found it had gone down again. Now let's see what happens when you are left out gold. And the water rose. That left only Wombat to blame. Mr. Archimedes was angry. Get out and stay out, he shouted. But the same thing happened again. Who could be responsible if it wasn't kangaroo and it wasn't gold and it wasn't Wombat? Could it be Mr. Archimedes? The friends decided he should have his bath all to himself. He climbed in and the water rose. He, he climbed out and the water fell until there was just the same amount. Mr. Archimedes had put in. Mr. Archimedes got so excited that he jumped in and out, in and out to make the water go up and down. Ureka! I have found it! I have found it! He shouted. Jump in everyone! And the bath overflowed. See? said Mr. Archimedes, we make the water go up. There are just too many of us in the bath. That's all. The friends had so much fun that night, jumping in and out, making the water go up and down, that they made more mess than ever before. Thank you.